The Boston Diagnostic Aphasia Examination, 3rd edition, was published in 2001 by Lippincott, Williams, and Wilkins. The authors of the test are Harold Goodglass, Edith Kaplan, and Barbara Baresi. The total cost of the BDAE-3 is $532. The complete kit includes the examiner's manual, record booklets for long, short, and naming tasks, stimulus cards, naming test stimulus cards, and a training DVD. The naming test kit can be purchased individually for $121. If extra record forms need to be purchased. The cost is $48 for long forms, $43 for short forms, and $42 for naming forms. The assessment is separated into five sections, including conversational and expository speech, auditory comprehension, oral comprehension, reading, and writing. There is also a naming portion, which is called the Boston Naming Task, or BNT. The BDAE typically takes 40 to 60 minutes to administer. The materials needed for the test include the book of stimulus cards, the record booklet, and naming test booklet. The sample consisted of 85 aphasic subjects and 15 elderly people without aphasia. The levels of severity of aphasic participants were evenly distributed. The severity levels ranged from 0.5 to 1 to level 5. Reliability measures included internal consistency and test-retest reliability. Internal consistency among the subtests was adequate. Test-retest reliability depends on the individual. Descriptive statistics and reliability coefficients can be found in the examiner's manual. There was no mention of multicultural variations in the psychometric portion of the manual. MH is a 64-year-old male. On September 20, 2014, MH experienced a cardiovascular accident in the left frontal hemisphere. There is no history of high blood pressure on his paternal side, and MH has been on medication for his high blood pressure since 1999. MH is a non-smoker and consumes alcohol rarely. There is no other significant history of medical problems. He has worked for 35 years as a clinical psychologist with a specialty in adolescent counseling. MH is considered an expert in his field and frequently lectures throughout the country. He teaches introductory psychology part-time at a community college. Outside of work, his hobbies include hiking with his family, reading, and playing piano. There are two versions of the BDAE that can be given, short and long form. In our video, we will demonstrate selected subtests of the short version of the BDAE in the short version of the BNT. The first subsection of the BDAE is conversational and expository speech. In this subsection, there are three subtests, simple social responses, free conversation, and picture description. We will demonstrate the simple social responses. To score the section, write the response the examinee provided and state the number of appropriate responses. Credit is given for a response that is appropriate to the question. How are you today? Okay. Have you ever been here before? No. Do you think we can help you? Don't know. Do you think you can make any more progress? Yes. When are you going to be leaving here? Don't know. What is your full name? Mohammed Hagigi. What is your full address? Athens. Based on our client's performance, this is how he scored on this section. The second subsection of the BDAE is auditory comprehension. Auditory comprehension has three subtests and focuses on how well an individual understands spoken speech. These subtests are as follows. Word comprehension, commands, and complex ideation material test. The subtest we will demonstrate is word comprehension, basic word discrimination. To score this section, the examinee receives one point for responding within five seconds, a half point for over five seconds, and zero points for the incorrect response. Show me your shoulder. Show me your cheek. 
Show me the picture of the candle. Show me the picture of the bear. Show me blue. Show me brown. Show me the tea. Show me the N. Show me the four. Show me the 13. Okay. Based on our client's performance, this is how he scored on this section. The third subsection is oral expression. Oral expression has five subtests and focuses on the articulation of the individual using repetition. These subtests are oral agility, automized sequences, recitation, melody and rhythm, and repetition and naming. We will demonstrate part of the subtests repetition, single words, and naming in the Boston Naming Test. To score the repetition section, the word must be intelligible. If the word has an articulation error, put a check mark under the articulation impairment column. Error codes are provided in the scoring Repeat manual. after me. Brown. Brown. Chair. Chair. What? Tot. Emphasize. Eh. Methodist Episcopal. Based on our client's performance, this is how he scored on this section. When assessing the naming subtest, there is a section called Boston Naming Test. The BNT booklet must be used for this section. The examinee is shown a picture and has up to 20 seconds to respond. The examinee may express that they do not know the name of the picture. Responses can be scored as correct without cue, correct with stimulus cue, correct with phonemic cue, or incorrect. A check mark is used to indicate correct and incorrect responses. The number of seconds that it takes the examinee to respond is also recorded. Stimulus cues are provided in the scoring booklet beneath the test item. For example, if the picture presented is of a cactus, then the stimulus cue would be something that grows. Phonemic cues are also provided in the scoring booklet and they are underlined. For example, if the examinee does not provide the correct response for dominoes, then the examiner can give the phonemic cue do. Discontinue after eight consecutive failures. Scoring for this section is located in the back of the BNT scoring booklet. The number of correct responses spontaneously and following a stimulus or phonemic cue are recorded. The total score is the total number of correct responses. The score is then compared to the norm table located on the back of the booklet. What is this? Building. That's right, but what kind of building is it? House. What is this? Coal. What is this? Brush. What else could it be? Toothbrush. What is this? Bench. The next subsection is reading. The reading subtests include basic symbol recognition, word identification, phonics, derivational and grammatical morphology, oral reading, oral reading of sentences with comprehension, and lastly, reading comprehension sentences and paragraphs. 
We will demonstrate basic symbol recognition, matching across cases and scripts, number matching and Arabic numbers matched to dot pattern. To score, put a 1 if correct and 0 if incorrect. Point to the symbol that matches this. 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 I'm going to hold up fingers. Point to the number that corresponds to what I am holding up. Now look at this number. Point to the pattern that corresponds to the number. Same thing for this one. Based on our client's performance, this is how he scored on this section. The writing subsection focuses on assessing mechanics of writing, basic encoding skills, written picture naming, writing sentences from dictation, and free narrative writing. We will demonstrate the mechanics of writing. The scoring is done by using three separate writing scales, well-formedness of letters on a scale of 0 to 2, correctness of letter choice on a scale of 0 to 3, and motor facility on a scale of 0 to 2. Zero is the lowest rating and three is the highest. Now we are going to do a writing section. Write your signature. Write your printed name. Write the letters T, G, R, S, B. Write this sentence in cursive, quick brown fox. Write this sentence again in print, quick brown fox. Write the numbers one through 10.
write the numbers 2, 12, 9, 11, 6. Based on our client's performance, this is how he scored on this section. The scoring is located at the back of the record form. Under each subtest, the examinee's raw score is circled and the circles are connected with lines. The percentiles are listed above each score column. Our client scored low on articulation and phrase length and had higher scores on comprehension. Based on the BDAE result range, our assessment led us to believe that our client would have Broca's aphasia. Cool, paraphasia, paraphasia and groping during speech production. Paraphasia. Agility. <laughs> autom autom I can't read, guys. Autom automized. Courtney. Good job. <laughs>